Hi guys, welcome back to Flo's Kitchen. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make bouillon. That's right guys, it's a Haitian soup. It's filled with um, yams, potatoes, carrots, and we even add crab. So these are the ingredients that you will need for this recipe. You need about two green plantains. You'll need some olive oil. Of course, you'll need some ippy, some yellow yam. You'll need two large carrots and about seven um, small to medium sized potatoes, but you can add as many as you need. And I have some garlic powder, onion powder, sea salt, black pepper, some tomato paste, and adobo seasoning with the yellow top. I also have um, a medium bush of spinach, all right? Very simple ingredients, not much. It is going to take a while because you have to peel, you have to boil, then you have to do um, dumplings. It's a lot, but all right. So the first step is to clean your meat. All right, guys, here I am using for this recipe, I am using turkey neck. Um, if you haven't watched my previous videos, um, please take a look. I typically like to clean my meat with lime juice and vinegar, and then you want to go ahead and rinse out um, everything until it runs clear, until the water runs clear. Here, I'm just cleaning out my puesto. You guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I love puesto. It cuts these Haitian recipes in half, and it's not an all-day event, all right? So you're going to go ahead and Put your turkey neck inside of the pressure cleaner. I'm saying pressure cleaner, pressure cooker, and then you're gonna add two tablespoons of adobo seasoning. You'll add one tablespoon of pepper. Um, you'll add half a tablespoon of that onion powder, half a tablespoon of that garlic powder, and you'll add about two tablespoons of oil. I'll also add, um, I'm also adding about three, about one cup of um, tomato paste. Now, I know the Haitians teach us for us to do this long process where it takes forever in the day to cook the meat. No, use a pressure cooker or use a crock pot if you choose to do this like an overnight thing. But the pressure cooker is your bre your best friend. It takes 30 minutes to an 30 minutes to an hour. No, I'm going to say, I'm going to stick to 30 minutes because the turkey neck, it takes only 30 minutes to cook in the pressure cooker, all right? Depending on how much you're cooking. Um, so, yeah, the sea salt, I added one tablespoon. Of course, guys, I will put the full recipe in the description box. So I'll add a link. I'll also add a link at the top for the it piece if you guys haven't watched it. All right, so here I'm going in with my. Um, cup of tomato paste and I'm just making sure I work everything in all right when you add everything all at once when you cook it in the press pressure cooker you'll see that meat will turn out very colorful and everything and it eliminates you having to take you know do that long Haitian process all right now I'm just going in and I'm peeling all of my vegetables just like so and then I'm making sure that I have some water running. I'm peeling off my plantains just like this. And then afterwards, I'm going to dice up, not dice up, but I'll um, cut up everything so it can be, you know, nice and um, full, nice and um, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to cut everything up so... You know, I, I like to cut it um, small to medium um, size. I don't really care for it to be too thick. Um, you know, I like everything to be a bite size. So if I want a piece of plantain, I don't want a big old piece of plantain in my bowl of soup. I'll cut it like, you know, a nice size where I can put that whole piece of plantain in my mouth without having to cut it up or whatever. And then here I'm going in with my knife and cutting up the yams and I'm cleaning it with 
lime. All right. Yes, I'm cleaning it with lime and making sure that water runs over it. So y'all pretty much get the point. You clean, take off the skin off of the the vegetables and you cut it up. And then you want to go ahead and put it in a separate pot. Make sure you rinse everything off. Um, just like you see I'm doing here. Rinse all of your vegetables. Make sure that it's nice and clean. You put it in a separate pot. Just like this. Just like this. I feel like singing. But I'm a little tired, y'all. This is a long video. But just bear with me, guys. At the end, you'll see how beautiful this um, bouillon turns out. All right? So here, I just added the um, vegetables. And I'm ha adding water about halfway um, in this pot. And then I'm going to boil it later at afterwards here I have my spinach I'm making sure that I rinse out my spinach make sure that the rubber band that was holding it you see there was a piece of rubber band in there gotta toss that and make sure that if there's any piece of paper or anything in there that's not supposed to be there I just clean it off just like this guys all right very simple so now we're gonna go back to the pot that i filled up halfway you're gonna cover that up and let it boil for about 15 to 20 minutes just like so you see you don't want to cook it too much you want it to be a little undercooked because you're going to be adding stuff to it like here i'm adding my crab um so it can steam on top but guys you don't want there it's a there's a science to this you don't want to cook it for too long because when it's when the bouillon is officially done you don't want your vegetables to be all mushy and smashed up you want to see everything that you're eating so um once you have it boiled for about 15 to 20 minutes and it's not all the way cooked you want to steam that 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 um crab over it and then you know leave it on low and in here you had your um, meat cooking for about 30 minutes in the pressure cooker and now you're gonna add it to that pot of um, vegetables and crab all right just like this by the way that that turkey neck look amazing yeah yeah y'all gotta give me my props y'all y'all gotta give me props for this turkey all right look at that nice and red i love it all right so um now i'm just going in and um making sure that my stove is on medium medium um medium to low heat and then i'm adding the spinach right on top the spinach will melt it was a little bit too much for that pot um i just put it in a separate separate pot um guys if you have a bigger pot just put it in the bigger pot honey all right put it in the bigger pot bear with me guys this video is a long video i feel like i'm talking for like forever oh my gosh all right guys so you want to cover that up just like so let it simmer on medium to um low heat and then now it's time to do our dumplings yes bouillon is not bouillon unless you have dumplings in it so the way i was raised we take about two um cups of flour and then we add the juice from the bouillon in there um we don't add water um some people just add regular water in that um, mixture i don't do it that way i was raised to do it with the um bouillon um water all right the reason being you don't have to add salt you don't have to worry about that dumpling once it's cooked if it has enough salt your salt and everything is already inside of that bouillon sauce all right so i just did that taste that taste i just did a test where um i checked to see if it was good enough to form the the dumpling it wasn't so i added um the I added more flour, all right? So, but in total, it is two cups of um, flour. And here I'm just forming those dumplings, all right, guys? Very, very, very simple. Look at that.
Yep. I know. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. So um, I'll do a few so you guys can see. Some people do it where it's like, long some people do it where it's like balls you can kind of choose how you want to form your dumplings to me it really doesn't matter it depends on how I'm feeling that day if I want to do it like you know long if I want to do it small if I want to do like balls I do it you can kind of decide on how you want to form your dumpling all right and how you want it to be in your soup all right so that's basically how you want to do it. You want to make sure that um, mix is nice and thick and you can form it and you'll know that you need to add more flour um, if it sticks to your hand. If it's too sticky, you add more flour. So it's two cups of flour and about one cup of um the water. If you choose to use water, that's fine. Just make sure you add salt to it. All right. If you choose to use the bouillon um, f- liquid, you you can do it that way. So it'll be one cup of water and two cups of flour. All right, guys. Very simple. Now we're going to check on our bouillon that was boiling down. You see how the spinach went down? It's, it's very nice. Just like this. All right, I dropped in my scotch bonnet pepper because I like it to have a nice little kick to it. And guys, this step is where you want to taste and see if it has enough water. If it has, I'm saying water, if it has enough salt, you can add salt. And um, you want to see if it has enough citrus because I know with bouillon, some people like it to have like a nice lemon flavor. You can add more citron which is lemon in it if you want, all right? And then here, we're just putting in our dumpling, just like so. Now, guys, don't be so in a rush to remove and to take out a bowl of soup and just dive in. No, you have to let that dumpling cook, all right, guys? Let the dumpling cook. It will take about 15 minutes to 20 minutes to cook, all right? Remember I said don't overcook those vegetables. Those vegetables have to be um, halfway cooked or not even like a third way cooked because all this boiling is going to break up that meat, that, um, that dumpling. All right. There's a science to it. You may not get it right the first time, but just keep trying and trying guys thank you so much for watching this um if you enjoyed this recipe i know it was long but don't forget to like comment and share bye